Hey everybody, Debbie here from Easy Piano Styles. Today I'm going to be talking about teaching you a kind of a walk up that you do with both hands. And um, anytime you have a chord relationship of a fourth, you could use this. So, for instance, if you have a C chord going to an F chord, that would be a fourth. Okay? And you could walk up in the left hand, C. D, and then the next one you'd go E flat, E, and then you arrive in the F. So it's one, two, three, four, and then there's your next measure, your F chord. Now in the right hand you'd be playing C, and then um, on the the second beat you're going to be playing the the four chord. What's the four chord of a C? It would be an F chord. I'm going to do it in an inversion. Okay. Now the next one, we're going to do a diminished chord based on the one, which is the C. So we have one, four, diminished chord based on the C, C diminished, and back to the one. So the one chord meaning this, the chord that we're starting on. So we have C, then we go to F, four notes up from that, and then we go to the diminished on the one, and then we go back to the one. Meanwhile, the left hand is going, just walking up. Together, we get diminished. Ah, uh, let's see. Back to the one, and if you're continuing on, that would be the F. So it's one, four, one diminished, one, and then we're up to the F. Let's put that in the song Can't Buy Me Love by Lennon McCartney. Um, Say you don't need no diamond rings, and I'll be satisfied. Just can't buy. Here we go again. I don't. There. Okay, and that time I didn't even go to the F, I went up to a G, which normally I wouldn't do. So I'm putting it in where there is a relationship between one and four, or between two chords that are a fourth apart. So let's, let's transpose this. Whenever you learn something new, it's always good to do it in other keys, right? Um, let's go from a G chord up to a C. So say we have a song that goes from a G chord and goes up to a C. So we want to do that with the um, first the left hand would be going G, A, and then we go up by half steps. That's all the left hand does. We're going from a G chord to a C chord. G, A, B flat, B, C. Now what will the right hand be doing? And hopefully you can see it up there. Let me just check. Can you see my hand? Yes. So you go. Uh, here's our one. What's the four chord from G? That would be a C chord, inverted. Then we do our diminished G. And back to G. And then we would wind up on the C chord after that. So we have one, two, And then we're on the C. So we have And then we wind up on the C. Now you could theoretically even use this walk up when you're not going from uh, one chord to another chord um, a fourth away. In other words, if you just had uh, you just wanted to use it as a filling, a filling kind of thing. Back to the G. Okay, uh, swing low, sweet chariot. All right, we can do swing low, swing low, sweet chariot. Swing low, low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. 
swing low, sweet chair. Perfect for that. Perfect. It actually really works well with the gospel, gospel kind of song, gospel feel. Um, amazing grace, right? How sweet the sound. It's a little low for me. I just did it again a couple times there. Okay, so traveling from one chord to another chord that are fourth apart, and the right hand's doing one, four, one diminished, uh, back to one, and then up to the four chord, and the left hand is just walking up, right? It starts on the root of the chord you're starting with, go up a whole step, half, half, half. And it's a great walk up that you can do. Okay. Take care and uh, keep playing that piano. Stay, stay motivated there. I hope I'm helping you stay motivated. Okay. Bye bye.